Hi you guys, it's Vivian Hennekins. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So I'm about to leave for Egypt in less than 24 hours and it's time to sit down and get everything packed up and ready to go. I'll be traveling to Egypt with a tour company called EF Ultimate Break and they have tours all around the world for ages 18 to 35. EF takes care of all of the stressful planning and prepping so all you have to do is sign up and show up ready to have a good time. If you think you'd be interested in traveling with EF, you can use the link listed in my description to save a hundred dollars on your first trip with them. Make sure you subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the incredible adventures we'll be having in Egypt. Now let's get to packing. So with Egypt being a Muslim country, I have to pack a little bit more conservatively than I normally would. With every outfit, I'm making sure to keep my shoulders and my knees covered. I'm gonna be bringing these four button-ups just to kind of lay over any other outfits, help keep the sun off me, and then help me stay warm at nighttime when the desert cools down. These are the four pairs of pants I'm gonna be bringing. We have two more neutrals and then two more fun printed pairs. All of these are a pretty lightweight material, really breezy and flowy, that way I'm not melting wearing these pants. I'm also gonna be bringing this really cute light pink skirt. I just got it from Aritzia and I'm so excited to wear it. I'll be bringing two jumpsuits. This one, of course, will be worn with a t-shirt underneath. This is from Lulu's and this one's from Target. Next, I'm gonna be bringing these five long sleeves. I'm not sure if I'll get the chance to wear all of them, but if I'm cold, I definitely wanna be prepared. Next, I'll be bringing these six tees and tops. They're all really basic and match really well with all the different pants I have, so I'm able to get a bunch of outfits out of these. Here are all five of the midi and maxi dresses that I'll be bringing. These three over here are from Target, this is from Aritzia, and this is from Princess Polly. I feel like I'll probably get a lot of use out of the dresses, they're just really easy to throw on and head out the door. Next for swimwear, I'm bringing these two bikinis. This is from L Space, and this is from Black Bow. This Black Bow set also has a really cute little outfit to throw over, and then this little set is from Princess Polly. Next for bags, I'm just bringing these three basic ones. I really like wearing fanny packs, so those are just really easy, but if I need to bring more stuff with me, this backpack is super helpful. I even drug this backpack around Europe with me for 35 days, and it is just the perfect little size, has so many little compartments. I love it, it's a really great day bag. For shoes, I'm probably gonna wear these Converse on my travel day. And then I'm just bringing a pair of sandals and a pair of boots. I do have one more pair of boots coming. If I get them, I'll insert a picture here. I'm just keeping it nice and simple, all comfortable shoes, easy to walk in. Next, I'm going to be bringing these two basic scarves and this little crochet one. And this down here is my Turkish towel that I always bring with me. It's just nice to have a towel just in case. And it also doubles as a blanket if you get cold. For hair accessories, I'm keeping it really simple. I'm just bringing these two headbands, this Ralph Lauren hat, and two little claw clips. Am I packing way too many clothes? Yes, probably, but will I be prepared for everything? Yes, indeed, I will. I really am an avid overpacker. I did try to minimize as much as I could, but I have room for everything in the suitcase, so it's all gonna come with. So next I wanted to walk through my toiletry bag. I got this one off of Amazon and it unfolds really big and nice to hold all of your toiletry stuff. It also has a little hook that you can hang on the bathroom door when you're getting ready. So in this top section, I just have all my regular toiletries to you know, shower and be clean. And these are just some reusable cotton rounds. And then in this section, I keep basically all the rest of my other toiletries Toothpaste, hairspray, bug repellent, perfume, sunscreen, leave-in conditioner, makeup remover, toner, serums, all the other stuff is in there. And then down here, I just keep all my makeup in here. I don't really travel with too much makeup. I just like to bring the basics with me. And in this outside pocket, I keep my eyeshadow palette, some little beauty tools, and then just some makeup brushes. So yeah, that's everything for toiletries. Really nice and easy. In this bag, I like to keep my Polaroid camera, 
Polaroid film and a couple of disposable cameras. I love bringing these cameras with me everywhere. It's so much fun having them. In this little baggie, I just have a couple rolls of travel toilet paper. In Egypt, a lot of the bathrooms will not have toilet paper, so it is really important that you bring some with you or suffer without it, basically. In this bag, I like to keep all my jewelry organized. I keep my rings in here, a couple pairs of earrings in this one, and then my necklace is here, and I'll also throw my watch in this compartment. Just nice and easy, keeps everything safe and secure. This next little bag just holds all my different vitamins and medicines that I'm taking with me on this trip. I still have to add some Advil and Band-Aids in here, but that's all this stuff. For hair tools, I'll be bringing a curling iron. This one I got in France, so it has the right outlet. And then I'll also be bringing this little travel hair dryer. This one is dual voltage, so that way I can take it with me anywhere in the world. Next in this bag, I have all of my technology stuff. I have my adapters, phone charger. This bag has a bunch of headphones in case I wanna to listen to stuff on the plane. And then this right here is one of my best travel finds. This little thing allows you to open it up and attach your phone onto basically anything. You just clamp it on whatever you want and you're good to watch shows wherever. So I've used this on the airplane, on buses, and it always comes in handy. Another thing I also like to pack is this travel steamer. It's really easy to use. You just put some water in, plug it in, handle comes out, and within a minute, steamer starts going, and you have wrinkle-free clothes all vacation. Next in this little pouch, I'm just keeping a coin purse and all my Egyptian currency for the trip. When you go to Egypt, you want to make sure you have a lot of small bills with you. The smallest bill they have is a five. A five is about 16 cents US. It's really important to have small bills with you because Egyptians do expect tips for everything. So you just want to be prepared that way you, you can hand out small bills like fives and not have to hand out larger bills like 200s. Next, I also like to bring a little travel mirror with me. You can charge the light back here. It's really nice to have. It just opens up, has a good little stand. Just nice when there's a bunch of girls and only one mirror. The next really important thing to bring on your trip to Egypt is gonna be a traveler's diarrhea kit. I know it's not the most exciting and glamorous thing in the world, but it's really important to be prepared if you eat something and end up sick. Going along with that, you also want to make sure you remember your passport, your vaccination cards, and your COVID card. I'm also going to pop in two of my favorite sunglasses. This one's from Key, and this pair is actually from Tom's. I just have it in a key bag. Last night, I went ahead and reorganized the suitcase so I could add in my pajamas and undergarments. I packed all the clothing in my suitcase standing straight up. That way, when I looked into my suitcase, I can see everything that I packed. All right, we're all packed up and ready to go to Egypt. I really hope you guys found this pack with me helpful. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up and feel free to comment down below letting us know any other travel tips you have. If you'd be interested in watching my travels around Europe, I'll have that linked over here. But until next time, I'll see you guys in Egypt.